Hello, everyone. GM, GM. I'm Nick from the Solana Foundation DevRel team, and welcome to the changelog. Jonas, how are you doing this week? Hey, I'm doing great. I'm very excited about the hackathon that's going on. Oh, I'm so excited about the hackathon. We got hyperdrive hackathons in full force start a, a couple of weeks ago. You know, you've got this this awesome page, this this phenomenal graphic. I love staring at it for a while. Uh, all the details you can find on solana.com slash hyperdrive if you're looking to participate in the in the hackathon, including um, you know, all the prizes that are available and developer resources. The uh, DevRel team is also hosting office hours in the Solana Hackathon Discord at discord.gg slash hyperdrive. So please stop on in. We've got office hours twice a week, uh, again, hosted by the DevRel team at Solana Foundation. And then, you know, if you're looking for any other events that are going on in the ecosystem, check out the community events page at solana.com slash events. It's loaded with not only events that are being put on by the Solana Foundation, but there's an open calendar for anyone in the community to submit any events that they're doing to this uh, shared calendar. So please do check it out and submit your events if you know that there's one going on in the ecosystem. Yeah, definitely. There's so, so many cool events in here now, which I didn't know that happened. And now you can just find them all in this nice convenient list and just join them. And also, if you're still searching for ideas, there is a build.superteam.fun and there's a big list of projects that you could build uh, also from different companies. And yeah, just nice ideas. Um, if you're still searching for something, it's a very good inspiration. And if it's one of the tracks who also sponsor prizes, then maybe it's also a good idea to build uh, on their ideas, actually. First, we want to talk about this uh, request for products, which is a big opportunity if you want to build something. There's a, a request for product, which means that there's a grant that you could potentially get by implementing this feature here or this program. And it's about security tokens and real world asset program. And you can find it in the Solana forum. And I recommend you also read through the uh, SRFC 20 because there's a bunch of information on it here and you should join in discussions if you're planning on building this. And there's also this big graph here. So what it basically is, it's building on top of SPL tokens and it's, maybe you can help me a bit there, Nick, but it's, I think it's uh, tokenizing certain real world assets like real estate, for example, right? Yeah, basically from my understanding, it's this proposal, this request is is basically to get someone to someone from the ecosystem to help build this unified program on Solana itself to help bring real world assets to the chain. And effectively, you can think of it like a wrapper on top of SPL program that adds a bunch of functionality and checks, including, you know, ways to link off-chain assets and off-chain data like real estate to on-chain tokens, like a like an NFT, you know, something that's non-fungible and giving some various controls about transfers of ownership and, and things like that. And and yeah, Jonas, like you said, like if anyone is interested in, in maybe participating in this and, and wants to apply for this grant, you can find the, the details on the on the uh, SRF3 page. And please do apply for the grant. Like applications close in uh, at the end of September. And we really look forward to seeing all the applications that come through. Yeah, sounds like a really interesting project. Also uh, includes KYC, for example. Mm -hmm. Um, but let's look at some of the commits, maybe. Uh, I think you picked a few interesting ones this time. Yeah, yeah. There's there's two good commits um, that uh, that I saw. The first one is adding a new syscall data point. So you can actually get, uh, you could request within your program, within your Rust code, you can actually request the compute units that your program has already consumed. For the longest time, you've actually been able to change how many compute units your, your program is actually consuming. You can request a higher balance. And, but now you can actually programmatically determine how many compute units you have consumed and you can take action accordingly within your program. So I think that'll be a really nice uh, little ergonomic feature that will allow programs that do more complex things to actually determine if they need higher compute unit and handle different actions based off how many computes that, uh, compute units they have actually consumed. And the, uh, the other commit that I thought was interesting is it's all around ZK. It's basically just a, a simple refactor to the ZK token proof program, uh, making it so the actual compute units that are consumed by the ZK program are exposed. That way you can actually figure out the exact number of compute units consumed. And it's just a, it's just a small little refactor, but it's, uh, you know, ZK is the hot topic these days, privacy on chain. It's, it's all the rage. 
Yeah, totally. Uh, I'm very excited about privacy as well. And uh, Helios, which is an RPC provider on Solana, wrote this uh, very nice article about how you can have privacy on Solana, actually. And he is uh, it's especially highlighting two protocols. It's Elusive. It's a company from Germany, which uh, provides you the possibility to do private transfers. And then there's Light Protocol, which um, works on ZK proofs on chain and uh, very val verifiable functions and so on. And yeah, I would uh, totally recommend you to check this out, um, read through this. It's uh, very interesting. It comes also with some uh, full code examples for uh, Elusive and Light Protocol. And yeah, uh, it's very interesting. Check it out. And, uh, the next thing is that the Lambert DAO ended, right? Yeah, well, not the Lamport DAO, but the, the hackathon. <laughs> not the Lamport DAO, but the, the hackathon organized by Lamport DAO calling, uh, called Opos Hackathon. Yeah, the Opos Hackathon winners were officially announced. You can see them here in this thread by the Lamport DAO Discord's uh, Twitter account. And there's you know over 65 winners, give or take, that have uh, actually been able to claim prizes during the hackathon because of all the various tracks that were that existed. So it's it's really great to see. If you build something for the Opos Hackathon, like congratulations, thanks for participating, and don't forget to check out all the other projects on Cubic and see what uh, see what everyone that won. Yeah, it's a big fun to just like scroll through the submissions and have a look at them. There's also yeah. many games in there. It's like <laughs> it's crazy how many uh, how many things people build. Yeah, especially in such a short time period and just under a month, like so many cool things were built. Look forward to seeing what everyone builds for the Hyperdrive Hackathon too. It's gonna be great. All right, I guess let's go ahead and wrap up this week's change log. Thanks for joining everyone, and we'll see you next week. See you next week, everybody. Bye-bye.